This demonstration is the follow-up on the scripting basics demonstration. You will see how to use debugger scripting to analyze runtime errors and to visualize the complex debugging scenarios. Now we will show how debugger scripting helps you to analyze runtime errors. In this example, we will see how to find duplicated table entries. The ITAP is internal table which will be filled. To create duplicated entries, we will perform this form. When we now execute this program, runtime error occurs because of the duplicated entry in the table. We can now try to debug this. We show our internal table, but it is really hard to find the duplicated entry in a large table. Better way to do is where the script. Within script tab, we can load a script and we see some predefined scripts. We have seen even one to find the duplicated entries. This is an interactive script. If we start the script, it will ask us for the parameters. We enter the table names we want to compare. And here we are. The rows 312 and 311 are duplicated. We go to Table tab again and check script results in the table. We see that the rows 311 and 312 contain duplicated entries. So the script led us directly to the point of the runtime error, duplicated entries. As you have seen, there are many predefined scripts in the script library. There are scripts for watch points, for data flow, or even the scripts to analyze memory. Now we will show you how debugger scripting helps you to analyze complex scenarios. Nowadays we use more and more complex frameworks with nested objects like WebDinpo for example, and it is really hard to display irrelevant information in the debugger. The debugger scripting helps you to get from the frameworks the information which is important for you as debugger user and display it in the convenient and readable way. So, here we have a demo program which we want to start in the debugger. You see here the internal table IT customers. This program uses above objects. We click on the IT customers and see the list of the customer objects in the table. We can't read the name of the customer and don't see his account information. Everything is hidden in the customer object. We double click on the customer object and see its number. We can double click on address and see the address details. The account information is the object again. So the customer object is nested object. We click on the account object. Here is account information of the customer. So if we are interested in this information for each customer, we have to click again line by line. Go through each nested customer object again and again. And it is really custom. We try the following. We go to the Data Explorer and we display IT customers there. We try to use Data Explorer 
and it is somewhat better. We can at least see one line. So line 1, here we go, we expand it and see customer information at one glance, but only for the line number 1. Select different table row, here we go, line number 2. We expand it and see relevant information for the second customer. We do it also for the third customer. It's better, but not really sufficient, since we want to have detailed information about all customers and one at one glance. This can be done via script. And we go to the script tab and load our prepared script. And the script itself is quite easy. First we get a table description for our internal table. We have the table columns in the L calls IT. We build a field catalog for the ALVs of this internal table. And then we create a clone of this internal table because we need the copy of the internal table on the debugger side. And then we loop on this clone and get all the fields we are interested in. We access line by line all address fields, name of the customer, street, city, account information, and so on. That's it. Now we want to run the script in the script wrapper and show the results on the same desktop under the source code. We load a script wrapper under special tools and load our script again. And start it. And here it is, the list of the customers containing information about each customer, name and street and city and in count information and account balance. So, this was an example how you can deliver the needed information from the complex frameworks to the debugger user in a convenient way via a simple script.